This is married couple, a bit sweet. Ah, uh, thank you, Mrs. Song. I did not even notice it's past dinner time. Oh yeah. Uh, the script for City of Eyes. This is a Thai acting. My casting has been confirmed, but she never said anything to me about it. Does she not want my help? Or does she not want to work with me? Ah, uh, uh, that's a lot of dressing. Hey, are you trying to make me fat? Uh, no. You are barking up the wrong tree. Huh, you? I see. You are calling me a dog. Yeah, a confused little dog. Don't worry. That is a low fat dressing for you. Uh, why didn't you say so? What's your attitude? What's your attitude? I'm pursuing him. I need to be good to him and be good to him. Wow, this salad is so yummy. You should try it by. I will fit you. Hmm, another mission? This isn't a mission. See, the light is off. What's wrong with you today? Nothing. I'm happy you made me a salad, so I wanted to feed you. That still doesn't explain much, but fine. Feed me. Hmm, okay. Aren't you going to feed me? What are you doing? Hmm, come. Come closer. And then... Oh, this. That pitch was too big. I thought you wouldn't be able to fit it all in your mouth. So I took off. So embarrassing. Such a blood move. I hope he doesn't mind sharing Sophia. I mean, I have said a lot of salifa already. So it should be fine. Isn't it yummy? Huh? Mmm, swallow it. Oh yeah, mm, very sweet. And this is a city of ice production team meeting. Old man Cho, I will find you the perfect female lead. Remember your promise to come home early? Yes, don't worry, Mrs. Sun. Ah, Yan, what's got you smiling? Oh, I am chatting with my wife. <laughs> Oh, only? Is he asking you for help? Mm, no, I wish she would ask me for help, but she won't. She is quite stubborn. Stubborn is good. One one in City of Ice is quite a stubborn character. Right, Old Man Chu? Ha <laughs> ha Oh yeah. And is that right? She is as a stubborn as a moon. Speaking of it, Ayan, your missus is quite similar to one one, but you don't seem similar to Ting Feng. I took a glance at the tailor for that for this show of yours. Did your personality change after getting married? A dare to Cho, spare me the teasing. Excuse me while I take a quick trip. To the restaurant. Ha, huh. Ayan is getting sick. If I got this this much just from the timer. Oh yeah. And then, what will happen when it airs? Oh, I so talk to director Yan. Did you get home? I will get them to turn on the camera. Oh, not yet. I want to discuss something with you. Can you cut out one list? Pre-dating mission segment. Oh, this? What mission? We didn't assign any missions the other day. When you were brought home. 
Oh really? Then why did you pretend to turn off the camera? And... Uh, what? Well, what happened after you turned off the camera that day? Oh, what did you do? Oh, no, oh nothing. Hello? Hello? Sangyan? It's been a while. Who is he? Mr. Sang, can you come home early today? Sure. Do we have some climbing duties? I want to practice my lines with you. I don't have much experience with work like City of Ice, so I'm feeling unsure. Since Mrs. Wan is the one asking, I promise. Yeah, alright. Then I will practice hard by myself before that. Mm. You have never mentioned this before. Why do you want this character so bad? It has such a great puzzle along with a great team. It's a godsend. If I get this, I can successfully change my image. Not to mention you will be there for me to pursue. Oh yeah, you are right. He looks sad. Songyan? Songyan? Lost in town. Uh, sorry about that. I was thinking about something and miss it. I heard from the letter you that you guys made a reservation here. I just decided to be blood and calm and invite. All good. The letter choice personally is surprise. Actually, calm. I will introduce you to the producer. Hmm? Oh, nice to meet you. He has a good temperament and fits the classical ecstasy, but he is quite far from one one in city of ice. One one can be cute and animate, but she can also be hairy and glorious. Just like your missus, Wendy. If my wife heard your compliment, she would be so happy. Oh, it's too bad. A scriptwriter like me doesn't have much influence. I sent a script to your missus some time ago, but never heard back from her agent. A few days later, Miss Deng contacted me. If you know, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, Beng Cho, why are you sitting here now? What are you and I Yan talking about? Jaren here wants to give you a toast. Oh, we were talking about his missus. How come your wife didn't come today? The role may be hers. She is not bought fast enough to come. Is that so? I am. I'm going to be on that acting for this show in a few days. You saw to look out for me. It will be my first time on the Ferdy show. Fans nowadays are quite scary. Don't say that. Do you know how many people would beg to get critic by you? Mr. Cho is right. My wife has always hoped to receive suggestions from you. Oh yeah, but I do spoil her quite a bit. So I hope the writer Cho could take it easy on her. It would sadden me if she gets hurt. Alright, alright. Since you are such a colder, I will be sure to counter my old man temper. That's all for today. We will meet again next time. Uh, see you, Director Cho. Mr. Cho? Oh, Director Cho? Mr. Cho? Goodbye. They used to be an on screen couple. To see them this awkward, it seems like you, Wei Guang, was not lying to me. About what? Something from 10 years ago. You know, Song Yan's stupid work. Yeah, the one directed by Yu Wei Guang. Back then, Song Yan was just a high scholar, a completely blind canvas. Song Yan's eyes saw nothing when he looked at Tang Chang. Yu Wei Guang was deeply troubled by it. But did Song Yan win the Best New Actor award that year? They were also put as the best on-screen couple. 
by negligence. Oh, let me finish. It was Yusei's trying to explain it to him. So, you wake up, ask him. Do you have a girl that you like? Not me. Ah, oh, imagine that this about the two of you. She's like a sunny star. Why you are just a speck of dirt. You like her a lot, but you are not good enough for her. Oh, so in that movie, Song Yang wasn't looking at the character or this actress, but the girl in his heart. Just don't spread this around. I won't catch a break from you, Wei Guang, if the press starts spreading scandalous rumors about this. Yeah, I got it. And then, oh, you are finally back. Hmm. Take a rest. Watch me do a walk truck of the scene while you are at it. The girl I like is always so radiant. Compared to her, I have always been just a speck of dirt casting up at her. As I expected of Mrs. Swan, that was great. Really? Was that okay? Really? Also, the script writer was telling me today how you fit the character and that you have a chance. Is that so? Then... Do you want me to get it? Mm, of course. I really hope so. Huh? I will do my best, even if I am not good enough for her. I still want to make her sign even brighter, radiating, relaxing with exuberance.